Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Royals update. We are here once again. We're playing as Connor Tyndale and we are going to jump in to a normal Undermine run. It's been a little while since we decided to go back into the normal Undermine, but we are going to go for it and we're going to try and get a good run going. We've got our lesser demon with us. I think we're going to change him out for Sylph maybe. Sylph could be quite fun. Um, let's let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll change we'll change her out for Sylph. Or we could go with Spirit. Spirit can get us some pretty interesting results. Um, of course, the damage is going to be definitely a little tougher in this situation. Um, no, let, let's go for Sylph. Let, let's try and do uh, a run where we really focus on blessings and curses. We have our money. I farmed up a little bit extra. We're jumping on in and we are ready to go. We need to try and find our fountain. So secret rooms are something we do want to try and see. We started with Exuberance 3, which is awesome. Because that's a massive bonus to, to that our swing speed. Um... We're going to be able to hit things pretty hard here. And we are playing on Summoning Stone 5 at the minute. And also, just to make this process a little easier, we didn't complete all the bosses last time, which means that we can skip all the bosses going up to the last floor. Should make this run a little bit quicker for us. Also, we don't really need to focus on gold all too much at the minute either. Unless we get synergies with that. Okay, that's not bad. This is definitely a secret room. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, it's a secret room that only contains gold. Not really what we need. But yeah, uh, I thought best to just keep it on the same summoning stone. Keep the bosses despawned. It'll mean that it's not going to be quite as long of an episode. Of course, we were getting into the getting into the episodes that were getting near to um, near to an hour and a half long. And I know that not everyone has the time to enjoy these episodes. So I thought it, it better. It's better to have. Um, Let's see what we get here. That's pretty good. Uh, it's better to have these episodes where we don't have to fight the bosses. Because we still get the core gameplay loop. We still get the core um, the core amount of this game. That's kind of the, the main cause of this game. But we aren't uh, having to wait through all the bosses. Because the bosses do take up a significant amount of time. Like, they're going to add an extra 15 minutes. Maybe 20 onto the run in total. So, it is worth um, having done them in a previous run. Um, let's try and take these guys out with throw. It'll be a little easier. Wow, he is coming out as hot and heavy. But l luckily, with three exuberance, it's going to be very nice for us to get through that. And we even get a bomb as a reward. Nice. Let's see what we can get from our shrine here. I'm hoping for something really, really good. Cleave would be great. We'll take damage. We realized last time that damage was a significant problem for us uh, in terms of killing the, the final boss. Um... We made our way through the little secret area. That's another thing we need. We need a significant amount of bombs to get through that secret area. I, I'm i pretty sure I remember how to do it. The only thing I'll have trouble with is that little uh, puzzle. There's our fountain already. Great to see. Um, yeah, there was that little puzzle that I, I found pretty difficult to, uh, to work out the first time. So it might take me a few tries to get through that once more, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. But yes, we do have our fountain now, so we can give 100,000 and that'll give us exactly what we need to get down there. Very happy to see that so early. It essentially means we just don't have to worry about it anymore. So 100, there you go. 100,000, we have paid tribute and... We have a truce has been made. Apparently, last time, the reason I lost this is because I hit a pilfer. Apparently, if you hit a pilfer, you lose that. I'm not exactly sure what it does or why you have it. I think it's like pilfers won't steal your gold, maybe? But we want to try and avoid as much as possible. I'm sure we'll end up hitting one at one point. We want to try and avoid as much as possible hitting uh, pilfers because we'll keep this rapport up. And maybe, just maybe, that'll help us in the future. Of course, the earlier you get it, the harder it's going to be to maintain that. But hey her, we'll see. We shall see. Um, and of course, we have plenty of gold to play with here. So we'll be trying our best to get every possible benefit we can. Uh, removing curses, things like that. Um, I will do that as well. I'll grab that. And I'll even reroll those other two potions. And they are both fantastic potions. Regeneration, we've already got some of that, so I'll take that. And an altar and a bottle. They were both really, really good. Um, we'll take maximum HP here. And then we'll just take this potion here to heal up a little bit. 
and we'll even take this extra bomb. As I said, we want to be making sure we have enough bombs for later, so pretty much we're going to be buying bombs and things whenever we come across them. Uh, but yeah, uh, remember as well, guys, um, we are playing as Connor here. If you do want your name featured, make sure to leave a comment, any comment at all. I want to try and get through everyone's names before I start repeating people, but I will start repeating people if, um, if there isn't too many of you. But either way, I've been enjoying this uh, series again once more so much, and I really hope you guys have too. I know there's a few of you out there that really like um, Undermine. It's sort of a, a really chill, relaxed game. That's a really nice little relic to get there. That is going to increase our critical strike damages. Um, but yeah, it's just like one of those games that's kind of a nice, chill game. Just to stick on in the background while you do your homework or while you while you play games. And someone recently said, um, some people might find this a bit weird, but someone recently said to me that they find my voice quite relaxing for, um, for like sleeping or doing work. Um, and that's actually a huge compliment for me because one of the one of the big like things that influenced me to be a content creator for, for me to get onto the YouTube train is um, watching people such as Northern Lion. Northern Lion is probably one of my biggest inspirations, and one of the main reasons I enjoy his content is because I put it on when I go to sleep. Like I, I use his his content to uh, to help me sleep. I just put stick it on, listen to some Gungeon until I go to sleep, and um, that's been something that I've been doing for for years now. Um, and so it's it's actually I um, oh my god I can't believe I did that then I jumped on top of the little Razor. This is actually... Oh my god, I did it again! Go away! <laughs> It's a, this is really hard to avoid the, the blades and avoid these guys. Wow. Um, <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's really nice to hear that people that people find my content... Find the same type of enjoyment out of my content. It'd be it'd actually be interesting to, to know how many more of you use my content as kind of background sound of just me just me chatting. I mean, some of you might be hearing me say that right as you're using it for exactly that right now. It's very possible. Okay, PPU. He found a key. Um. Okay, we'll pop in here. What you got for us? Ferocity there. We've got um, we've got some crit chance here with Dylan's claw, so Ferocity is going to be great for us. If we can keep building onto that, that'd be great. What we got here? Um, nothing major. We do have this, which I'll take, and then I'm going to do this. A little bit of free food. Nice. We actually picked up that potion that I didn't mean to there. Uh, we'll grab that as well. Good, 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 good. Okay, there was an extra mine in that room. Didn't see that. But yeah, we should we should be able to pretty easily stomp through these first few floors, I should think. Um, but this is all in preparation. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that. This is all in preparation. Oh, Battle Sand is so good. For um, later on when we get to that Slime King, the, the Plunder King sort of boss. We want to be taking him out as quickly as possible. Battle Standard here, by the way, is the best. Okay. You run, I swing. Good, good. And we have a little pedestal here, uh, of which we have that on it currently. I don't think there's anything we want to take off that. By the way, I need to remember that I've got my boots as well. The jumpy boots are actually, when you get, start getting your swing damage up there, they do some significant damage. So I think it's something that we need to keep in mind and use them. They are new as well, so I do want to make sure we get good usage out of them. But let's, honestly, these little saws are the worst thing ever. <laughs> I've, for some reason, my brain just can't comprehend where they are in the room, and I just walk right into them. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just because I'm, like, too sunk into my train of thought and just completely skip them by. Oh, yeah. That does, like, a full swing's worth of damage. Actually, a little more than a swing. Okay. A little extra food out of that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely useful for us. We already have 10 bombs as well, so our bombs are already in a very good place. Guidance here, I will take it. It's a unique throw. Um, we can use this, hopefully, to apply Cracked Orb if we get it in the future. Uh, but even if we can't, it's already just a very, very nice item to have. Guidance is going to help us with these uh, these enemies here. I just want to say, enemies that have low HP. Unfortunately, it does weaken with every subsequent hit. It never used to. It used to have consistent damage for every hit, and it used to be the most broken thing in the game. Uh, but, of course, they, they, they nerfed it for very obvious reasons. Um, but, guidance is still going to be very, very good for cleaning up small and low health enemies. 
Um, it really helps out. And it's even going to be good for just weakening enemies up, ready for us to swing at them when, when, when the time comes. As you can see here, though, doing great work, making these rooms a little bit easier on us. Uh, next shop here. Even these enemies here, while we're on these early levels, these enemies are weak enough to where throw damage is more than enough to kill them. Which is very, very nice. Uh, and here, what do we have? We have Wet Blanket. Do you know what? I might as well take it. It's not It's not going to hurt us. Grab that. Grab that. Might as well grab the bomb whenever we see them, because why the hell not? And we shall carry on down to the next floor. Of course, we won't have a boss available here, so we will just literally be going to the next floor. But I can't be asked walking all the way back, so I'm going to go into the boss room and then out of the boss room. It's just a quick little shortcut. And there you go. First floor is complete. I'm just so happy that we managed to pay our tribute so early on here. It makes our life a hell of a lot easier. And we no longer have to keep it in our mind and keep worrying about it. We can just forget about it now. Um, and of course, we still have the Pilfer's uh, Rapport as well, which is really nice. Okay, shop here is good. What we got? An extra bomb. We got Galoshes. We've got a Golden Kernels. Um... I'm going to take Galoshes. I'm going to take the doll as well. I'm taking Galoshes mainly because um, we can get some pretty in interesting stuff if we get the Firewalkers. Also, I think we now have three movement speed increases with all of these boots. I'm not actually 100% sure if the heavy boots give a movement speed increase. Um... Because none of them actually say that they do, but normally boots give 5% movement increase, so... I, I, to be honest, I do feel like I am faster, and obviously Battle Standard's making that even more so. Uh, and the thing is as well, we, we have Galoshes, but we do have the Wet Blanket that we just got as well, so that is going to negate us taking some of that fire damage at least, so... I think we're in a pretty good spot with that. Uh, bombs are still climbing as well. Go for another one of them. We have the doll right now, so we're going to be blocking curses, even if it is only three. It's still a good amount, though. Um, and the golden potion, uh, I, I, I doubt we'll end up holding on for that, to that forever. But we can get a little bit of extra gold out of that at some point, I'm sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this movement speed right now. We're able to move through the rooms and within rooms so quick. If we've got battle standard up, we're zooming. Even if we don't, we're still zooming relatively quick, just not fully zooming. Okay, good. Might as well crack this open. Of course, we don't need to go for gold, but thorium. Thorium is always something we want. This is a pretty interesting room, but yeah, I will I will take this because... Okay, there's our rapport gone. Hmm, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, <laughs> the rapport's gone. Hey, her. I'm not exactly sure what it even does, so I can't vouch for how useful it would even be. I'm guessing quite. I'm going to guess quite. Oh, we got shrapnel bombs here. Nice. They were pretty useful last time we had them. We only used them briefly, but uh, I noticed they were doing a good job. Jump in here. Take you out. And down we go. Speed our way through the floors. Shops are kind of our most important resource right now. We want to be getting to the shops and finding them, along with these as well, uh, shrines. I'm just going to check if this key... Um, no, it's not. I was, I was just checking if that key um, door was the shop, because if it was, we could possibly get um, a biscuits potion, which is essentially just extra pet XP before we do it, uh, before we use the shrine. I'm actually going to do that anyways. I'm going to go look for our shop and check. What we got here? Spare Ordnance. Okay, so this is making our bomb getting ability much, much easier. Much, much easier. Okay, we got rid of all of them. Ow. I really need some healing at the minute. I'm taking some some pretty big damage. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do that. It's two bombs for um some gold and a bomb back. And healing. There you go. It's not really that worthwhile with a gold potion, honestly, but I will take it. I'm sorry that I hit you, Pilfers. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, here's our shop. Okay, good. We are just absolutely killing it with the damage right here. Damage is in a very, very good spot. Right, what you got for a shop? Curse removal, we don't need that currently. Um... Biscuits potion. Let's try and roll for a biscuits potion. 
We didn't get one, but what we did get is pretty good. I will take all this food. Um, we'll grab that, and we'll bomb this. Just in the chance we got another biscuits potion. We didn't. More bombs. Good, good. And then we'll go use our altar and a bottle in the other room. But yeah, altar and a bottle for Sylph is insanely powerful. We were able to get levels up on our pet very, very quickly with uh, the altar and a bottle. So I'm very much like to see that. Also, it's just more blessings. More blessings are always better. Let's pop this. Um, okay. Unfortunately, not really much we want here. But I guess we'll just take this then here we'll take this goodbye doll and we're very near we're very near to level two sylph of course on these normal runs as a, as opposed to other mine the pets do level a little slower because if they level at the same rate they end up getting to max level by the time you get all the way through the third level which there's like five isn't the six something like that so you wouldn't really want that or at least the devs wouldn't really want that. I'd really want that. We could end up finding the cosmic egg as well, which does increase our um, our pet's leveling rate. It increases pet XP. Uh, but normally, the problem with that item is you end up finding it really late on. Um, and so you don't really get that much use out of it. Good. Yeah, you, you, you hardly ever get it when your pet's actually at low XP. You end up getting it when your pet's like half a level off max. And it kind of ends up being a bit of a worthless item. We'll see, though. We might not even get it. Yeah, these guys are firing all sorts of shit at me. Okay, we have the fire, do fire boy. Not too bad. Okay, we are getting a little low on keys. Little low on keys. That would be something I'd like to correct right about now. We're getting a lot of shrines, though, which is nice. Some floors don't, don't spawn with shrines, and we're getting quite lucky with them at the moment, so very happy about that. Um, more exuberance. More swing speed is always good. We've got to remember as well that we do need cleave, and we need a lot of it, because the, the boss is quite difficult to fight with, with swing damage, so we can't just build for swing damage unless we get cleave. Do you know, what are the chances... What are the chances? So there's so many items in this game. There's so many items in this game. Honestly. So many items in this game. And I somehow manage to get the one item that I was just talking about. That's crazy. That is crazy. I... I have never seen such luck before. Thank you, Cosmic Egg. We actually got it early enough for it to be valuable. So that was very nice. Right. Get these two. Good, good. Still don't get any keys. Paladin shield. Holy hell yes. Massive stat up to all stats. That is great. Very much happy to see that. Okay, I'm getting a little worried about key situation though. But that also gives us some cleave as well, which is really nice. Swing size up is... Very, very good. Okay. Not going to go in there yet, because I want to go into my shop first. I'm hoping that I'll be able to buy a key in here. Please let me buy a key in here. Okay, we can buy two keys in here. Even better. Uh, and that is Bomb Doubler. I don't think we really need Bomb Doubler. We could maybe go for some bomb damage, I suppose. Okay, do you know what? I'll take bomb doubler. And I'll take that. Okay, good. Yeah, I just... I think... I'm thinking with shrapnel and everything, we might be able to get some bomb damage going. And I'm thinking against the pilfer boss, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. Right, at level 2, we get 2 uses per altar, um, so we can go for that, and then we can go for that. Good, good, good. And we can zoom on forward at full speed. Again, 
We have, we've done this boss, so we don't need to do it. We can just go straight ahead. And we are actually zooming through this. This is, this is much quicker than I thought. I think in part it's due to our 15% movement speed up, which is just awesome. I'm really loving having that right now. It's really quite nice. Okay. Keep on pushing forward. And we've just got really good items for speed as well. Really good items for speed indeed. Um, speed indeed. Definitely need more keys though. Keys are still a significant problem for us. Really dude. I hate that, that big earth. That big earth is annoying. Okay. Get some throws going. This with the crits is doing great. Where the hell's our shop? Okay, our shop's actually free to enter, which saves us a lot of trouble. Come on, give us some keys. There's one key. There's key blade. We take that. I guess we go with that. I think we take Keyblade in case we get a ton of keys later. We also bomb this to try and get some more keys. We got another key. Good, good. We got Transmute. That's good. Okay. Oh, we should probably buy this food as well. Why not? Why not? Okay, good, good, good. At this point as well, we don't need to go to every single room that we come across. So we can kind of go past a few of those. Right here, we've got more exuberance. And there's the cleave. There's the cleave. That's what we need. And as you can see, Sylph's almost level 3 already, which is a very, very early time to get her to level 3. Float boots? Okay. We have absurd movement speed right now. We have a 20% bonus, and we've still got fire boots to get yet. So our movement speed, we're just absolutely zooming through the floors right now, which is great. Absolutely great. Go on down. I love this run. This run's just boots ahoy. Just put on the boots on top of the boots on top of the boots on top of the boots. And there's the level up. We do have a transmute in a bottle here. So if we find an item we don't like, we can change it for the cost of health. It's, transmute machines are the same things that spawn shops that I use uh, health and bombs on to reroll things. If you were wondering. Got him. Okay, drop that, got that. Little bit extra food there. Jump in here. Little bit extra food there as well. Shop here. We've only got one key, so I think we, we have to go in here. That's a good amount of keys. I think we take the map as well here. I think the map is worthwhile. Then we... Yeah, let's remove a curse. We don't want our curses to build up too much. Then we transmute. Phantasmal pick. I'll take it. Don't think it's that good. But I will take it. And the map here is going to allow us to find our secret rooms much easier. Phantasmal pick should help out a good amount with guidance. Open this up. Piece of armor. I'll take it. Piece of armor definitely helps out. Especially if we get something like the obsidian knife. Which is going to give us a massive damage increase. As you can see. Some crazy stuff goes on with a Phantasmal pick. I love it. Okay, let's quickly just jump into this room here. Nah, nothing I really want there. And then we'll bomb our way through here. Really game. At least we got our bomb back there. Okay, uh, we're going to take some damage for this. Oh, no, we're not. We have Wayland's boots. We can walk over spikes. I kind of forgot about that. Very, very nice. All I really care about with Wayland's boots, though, is the speed upgrade. It's more important to me than the uh, actual ability to destroy spikes for the most part. Okay, we've got secret rooms in both these rooms. I don't know why I even left the room there. Just, just look at this. Just look at this. That guy's going to end up regening, though, unfortunately. Yeah. I kind of knew he would. Okay, good. Check this secret room out. It's Tuss. 
Okay, so this guy, I've kind of learned that he works on percentage base. So if I want a good gift from him, I have to give him a lot. So I'm going to tip him, like, just 50k. And see what he gives. He probably won't give much for 50k. Because we've got a lot of money currently. Unfortunately, Tusk gets less valuable the more money you hold. But... Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> Tuss was like, you like those boots? How about another pair? <laughs> How about another pair of those boots? That might, might well still give us movement increase though. There's a very possible chance that having two of one item does stack. I don't actually know, but there's a plausibility. And that the, the fact that that could exist makes me very happy. Movement speed is my jam. Totem life. We don't need it. Let's transmute it. Yep, Salamander's tail is great. I'll take that. Yeah, we, we really don't need Totem life. We are we are fine on, on te in terms of a health front here. I would like to increase our maximum health by quite a bit, though. Getting, like, Air Major would be really nice, or just a lot of blessings that increase our, our max health would be good. Anything of the sort there would be would be very much appreciated. Stop electrifying the water. There you go. So many bombs. It's great. Uh, ooh, we do not want to pop in there yet. Right. Um, there's that maximum HP I was just talking about. So let's take that. We're gonna, so now we get double of every blessing at level three. When we take a blessing, we get two of it. So let's take a bunch of maximum HP here. Yeah, let's try let's try and really stack that maximum HP. Oh my god, look at it. And now that they're all small, do this. Oh, there's just so much going on right now. It's beautiful. I love it. A key ring? That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Another key. Cash removal. Good uh. I guess I'll take this. Don't really need it, but I guess I'll take it. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about this set, this this setup that we currently have. Feels good. But 22 bombs as well. Free food. Love the way it just floats there on the table. But we're, up to, we're up to 620 health already. We can definitely get that quite a bit higher, so I look forward to doing so. As long as there's blessings to be had. My god. Destruction. Okay. Uh, we can pop in here straight away because we have the keys. Kurt Stash. We're going to be taking curses, so Kurt Stash might be decent. It can give you blessings. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see if we actually want that. He dropped, he's dropping actual bomb, guys. Look at the- I love- I love that enemy. That's a really cool new enemy, I have to say. Right, what you got for a shop? Unfortunately, we're not getting many reroll machines, although here we did get a ton of keys. Just an absolute ton of keys. I love to see that. Now we're up to nine. We're not gonna have to worry for a few flaws now. I love the way that this room only exists for the chance to get cast fires, pretty much. Okay, we'll go to this secret room, but otherwise we don't really need to go over here. They're good. Got him. And this is just the sort of ultimate power that you can get with uh, Undermine. I know we're only early summoning stone, so the power's relative to our, to our difficulty, but even still. Hey, that's good. I'll take that. We're not planning on using any balance... Um, Things, uh, the potions that balance our blessings, so I'm fine with taking that. Right. Whoop, that was strange. I've never had that happen before. The door's closed as I left. But we're already down all the way to this floor here, which is very, very quick. Very, very quick indeed. We are making some strides right now. I mean, even our throw damage right now is very, very strong. 
So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, even our throw damage right now is in a very good place. This could be good. Yes, it was indeed. Another potion discovered. Love finding them. I love the reflections in this stage. They look so damn good. They look so, so damn good. It's very impressive. Why would you run all the way over here for this rock? Did you have to? A piece of thorium. God damn it. That ain't worth much to me. Nah. Too much effort to get over there. I want to keep my 25 bombs. Ow. Got hit by the bloody brambles. What you got for us? Uh, I think we take savagery. And then I think we take... Let's take more toughness. Survivability is very a very big thing for us here, so... Really want to get that as high up as we can. But yeah, as you can see, we're still able to, able to absolutely kill it with the uh, throw damage here. I'm very, very happy about that. What we got here? Shop, shop, shop. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So here's one of the balance our blessings thing, but I really don't think we need or want that, to be honest. Because it's we've got so many things that are so varied that it's going to end up lowering some things that we really don't want to lower. So I don't really think that's worth spending our money on. Uh, we could balance our bombs and keys, average the number. I actually think I will do that, because that'll give us a, a lot more keys. Um, we'll also take that as well. Okay, good, good. And then we'll take these bombs. Yeah, it just means that we have some more keys. And I, essentially, I want to get to a point, and I think we're kind of at that now, where we don't have to ever worry about keys. Sequence Breaker, unfortunately, just is not good for us, so we'll leave that there, because it will replace our Guidance, the, the, the Bouncy Throne Picks, and I think the Bouncy Throne Picks are way more valuable, of course, because they actually do more damage, unlike Sequence Breaker, which is just a way of moving around. Okay, another Secret Room. There you go, Throw Speed. I like to see it. Anything that can enhance our Throw Damage, or usability at least, is going to be very important to us. Right. Okay, we're going to have these guys firing laser beams at us, so be very careful of those. Luckily, both of them were in pretty terrible spots for them to be able to hit us. Grab that. Grab that. Ooh, there was a secret room there that I missed. <laughs> I love the way this guy was just like, fuck it, I'll blow myself up, I don't care. I don't give a damn, I'll do it. <laughs> just absolutely nuked himself. Did we check that secret room at the start? We didn't. I always forget to check the secret rooms when I first enter. Got our bomb back. Nice. And yeah, another reason I, 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 I um, evened out our numbers of bombs and keys. We have so much higher ability to get bombs back in the future. Whereas keys are still relatively difficult. Also, Keyblade. I didn't even really mention, I didn't really remember the fact that Keyblade is, is a huge source of damage if you can get your keys really high up. So, getting them to 18 is really, really nice. And that's why I'm not going to spend them there. I don't think it's a very good idea. Right. Shop, what do we have? Um... Potion in a bottle's always pretty good. Nope, that was crap. <laughs> that wasn't very good at all. We do have some um, cash removals here, so if we get a cash chest here, we can open it. Got a golden chest instead. That's a lot of gold. Sorry, don't take my 500 piece. Uh, we will take this potion as well for later. That's going to increase our swing size. And that's very valuable. Do you know what? Why not take these two potions and just use them? They're not unusable. We'll just keep going. Oh, that was a very weird sound to hear as you enter a room. It sounded like they were going to fire at me as soon as I walked in. Okay. Throwing Star. I don't actually know how Throwing Star plus Guidance works. I'm going to take it. I don't know how it works. It might be completely destructive and stop it from working. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So now we can throw through walls to pick up things, but we don't throw through enemies. That, that actually works out quite nicely, unless there's a single enemy. We're down to Caves 3. Our blessings are getting up there. I'd like to get to 10 on a few blessings before we hit our boss, but we'll see. We will see. 
Especially Cleave. If we could get another another few levels of Cleave, that would be great. But yeah, now we're at the point where we can just kind of just use our uh, thingy. Um, throw damage. Um, let's take some throw damage. And... Let's take some swing damage. Okay. Oh. Secret room. Almost missed you. Not worth it at all. There are certain, like, potions and stuff we can get from breaking those rocks, as you guys know. But I'm not going to spend the time to, to weave our way through all of that. Altar in a bottle here. Of course, absolutely great for us. Um, there you go, more of that. And fortitude here. We still we, this is our first lot of fortitude. Fortitude for each level reduces our damage, incoming damage by ten percent. I think it does have some amount of diminishing returns, although I'm not sure on the exact amount. So we might see that it reduces it by ten percent, and then the next level is only seven percent, sort of thing. But still pretty good. Birthing pod here, really really good. Consumes all of our healing until it's birthed. I think it requires five hundred healing to be birthed. Um, and what this does is um, it makes it so that... Okay, we'll take that. I don't even know what I paid for that. Don't even know what I paid for that. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make it so that once we heal it up to full... it actually say here, yeah. Uh, once we heal it up to full, it will birth into, um, into a second familiar for us. It's very, very useful if we can birth it in time. If we can't, then it might not be too good for us. If we can't, if we can't birth it in a timely manner, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. Let's see, though. We might be able to. Depends what sort of potions we get here. So I think we take this. Use that. We use that. We grab that. Grab that. I think we grab this and use this first. Go down here. Only up to, we've only got 273 left, so not too much. Ooh, okay. So ghostly ichor here. We'll take that. Take that. So, as you can see, Ghost Leaker's making its way down. I don't want to remove curses yet, because that would be a waste, kind of. We'll see. See how much this actually ends up doing. It's about to run out, so it's... it's we're we're going to have very little healing left on this thing. Okay, there you go. Remove our curses. And I'm going to go for a gamble here. And re-roll this. Actually, no, no. I'm just I was gonna re-roll it. I'm just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it. Then let's just go for a bomb here and try and re-roll that person into a healing potion. There you go. Now it's only got three health left. And there you go. It is birthed. Unfortunately, we didn't get a, a very good familiar here. We got the firebird. Um, and of course he is only level one. But you do have to remember that we have the um cosmic egg, so it's gonna level up relatively quickly, anyways. A little bit of a shame that we got the Firebird and nothing better. But the, fi the Firebird's still not bad. If we take a little look at his um, his abilities. At level 1, Firebird will occasionally fire fireballs. Then reduce incoming fire damage. And then the duration of Ignited is increased for enemies. So, it's decent. We can get some okay stuff going on with that. And we are now already at the stage where we're going to be fighting the new enemies. Which is insane. Going down to the next floor. The, the, the question is, are we ready? God damn it, it's level 2 already. What? How is it level 2 already? What? Cosmic Egg is insane. Uh, we'll take that, why not? Cosmic Egg is absurd. Also, what's this shop over here? I don't recognize the shop. Oh, I do love that, though. I have to say, I do love that. Right. Weird patch there. I, I don't know what's going on with this shop down here. I can't believe he's almost level 3 already. It's been like one, it's been like one room. Hello? Gold star membership. Did we just get two memberships in a row? Oh, no, this is the normal shop now. Okay. I thought we got two memberships in a row, then. That'd be insane. Uh, right, so... I think we take that. 
We take that. I guess we take these bombs. Unfortunately, can't re-roll any of that, so let's go. That's good, though. We got the gold star membership there. Then we go back. And we check these rooms up here. Obviously, one of them's going to be to the fire floor. Other one's going to be to the pilfer floor. Ow. Don't walk into that. This is to the pilfer floor. Let's go this way. Ow. Okay. Ooh, for some reason, I thought that when, when he hit me then, I thought that was going to mean he wasn't going to let us down. Right, we got to be prepared because this is a very difficult floor. We remember that. The damage that we're going to take is pretty significant. We have to be very, very ready. Um, oop, oop, oop. I've already made a huge mistake. I've already made a huge mistake. What? What in the hell? We, we've already almost died. It's, it's absurd how much damage things do on this floor. We're, we're almost dead again. Ah! Dude. We're almost dead. We've got two health. This floor. Okay, the, these traps, I can't compute these traps. They're going to end up hitting me. There you go, it hit me. These traps, I can't. My feeble brain cannot compute. Stop! My god! We're at 5 HP. Fucking hell. This is not going to be enough healing to get us back to, from the brink here. This is absurd! <laughs> Okay. I'm grabbing this over this. Do you know what? I'm grabbing that over that, actually. That's good, but swing size is better. God damn. Fortitude. Thank God. We need that so bad. And... Ferocity, I guess? Holy hell. Give me food. <laughs> I need food so bad. Down we go. I, I think we're going to die. I think we are going to die before we get there. I, I just forget how absurdly hard this floor is. You really have to be very prepared. That is a lot of secret rooms. I'm actually going to pay a key for that. Okay, good. Can't get through there. That's cool. My god. Um, this will actually skip... Oh no, I guess it's a skip of rumors for us to fight, but we want to get the relic anyways, so... Good. Didn't take damage that room. Increased swing damage. Good. My god. Okay, we got some cooked fish there. That's good.
Good. Okay, in we go. Alter in a bottle. Great. Remove a cast. Good. Oh my god. I think we need heartiness at this point. My god. Take the attack speed one. Holy hell. Holy hell. By all of these. I don't care how much money it costs us at this point, honestly. That's not gonna cut it. Right. We gots to go. We gots to go. What the hell even hit me then? This game don't make no damn sense. Oh! Oh! Poison arrow. Why? Oh my god, down we go. This is why we needed this maximum HP. Helping us out a bunch. It's just, there's just elemental damage everywhere and it's so hard to keep track of what the hell's going on. We did get hit at some point during that, but heck if I know when it was. That's nice. Tiny bit of extra healing. I'll take it. By the way, I'm at least hoping that we didn't have to go through the first, um, the first secret room maze because I didn't. <laughs> I did last time, but I didn't this time. There was another chest down there, apparently. Fair enough. Okay, that was a good amount of healing there. This is a very tough room. Definitely want to be at this side of it. Stop shooting me. Oh my god. What you got for us? I'm gonna go with throw a speed. Throw a damage. Maybe thinking I'm taking a lot of curses right now. At this at this point, I I just can't I can't give a damn. I literally can't afford to give any dams. Okay, into the shop. Doubling our bombs here makes sense. That's nice. Okay, and then we bomb this to try and get better potions. Absolution. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got six. God damn it, Absolution. Um, I really should carry an Absolution with me. Let's take the absolution over that. Essentially, when we have five, exactly five curses, we can remove them all in one fell swoop. Um, with one single potion usage. My god. This is nutty. Right, so we should see the secret room thingy coming in on this floor. The secret room maze. We're going to make our way through that. I can never tell if I've been hit or not with, with these rooms at the minute. They're mad. They're absolutely mad. Lunchbox is actually okay. Normally, I wouldn't really care about it too much, but in this situation, 
I think I can I think I can say I like it. Oh, there was a <laughs> I didn't even realize there was a, a pilfer, a golden pilfer in here. We still managed to kill him. Yeah, you're getting away with it all your little harder, but that's okay. It's a very small, tight little thing there. Oh, right, okay. Not that valuable. Into here. Cash removal, okay, absolution. It's your time to shine. Boom, all gone. Are you kidding me? I just got an altar and a bottle and it fell into the other room and disappeared. That's just rude, game. That's just rude. I've never had that happen before. It fell into the other room and therefore we, we went allowed it. Great, thanks for that. Altar and a bottles, you know, the best person in the game for us. Oh my God, the damage. Just what is going on right now? Honestly, does anyone know? Mental. Absolutely mental. Right, give me not all the bottle back, please. There's a tent there. I think a tent could be pretty good. Refill four armor pips. I don't really get why this person exists, because like... You're not really going to have an armor pit. Like, who has four armor pips ready and available? I don't know. Wait a minute. One sec. I have to drop a bomb in here to check something. You, you're actually kidding me. What? I can't believe I had to do that. I set two major curses. I think I can get rid of them, but still. We got teleport when hit, chance to drop a bomb when taking damage. Chance to drop a bomb when taking damage, actually the one I'd rather keep, so that's fine. Can't believe they just made me do that. Right. So... This one was just bomb through, wasn't it? And this one, we've got to get to the pill for... Oh, we got to pick up the gold and get quick enough. But with throwing star, that becomes very, very easy. So that's fine. This one, we have to... I can't remember. It. It's like, go through here. Hmm. There you go. Walk through them in the right order. And this one is just confusing as all hell. And I cannot remember how to do it. Uh, so do that. Then that, 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 then I can't remember which one to do now. Okay, go back through here. Okay, now... I gotta do this one here, I guess? Yeah. Then that one. Then... Caliware flower. That, that, then, I can never remember which one this is now. This is the bit that gets difficult. So we're in here, doing that just does that. You don't need any of them anymore. That just does these two. That just does these two. That just does these two. Hmm. 
I am now very confused. Um, <laughs> it just, this baffles me, right. Oh, wait, okay, maybe go this way. Then do that, there we go. Then we do that. Then we do that. And we go through here. And we go... Not this one. Um, oh no, we've done it. There you go, we're good. Okay, so we've made our way through. Now we can go back, try and beat our boss. Okay, good, good. We've completed the secret path. The secret path isn't actually that hard. I'm, I'm worried about this. Sweaty palms is worrying me, but dropping a bomb when hit now, now that we don't need them anymore, isn't actually that big of a deal. Take that. Run over here. Good. Right. Jump in here. Then we go pop. Pop. Jump in and just hope for the best, I guess. Because this boss is crazy. Just going to take some time. Just, just... Be aware it's going to take some time, we'll be fine. We've got um, the oil boots, so you can't get hurt by the poison either, which is really nice. I can never remember how to dodge that attack. Really? Really? Oh my god. I'm just trying to use a potion. Oh my god, this is crazy. Honestly, nitroglycerin here could be pretty good. I hate the fact that he heals for a hundred whenever he kills on his filters by accident. By the way, I do use the bomb thing because I can't be hurt by them, so why not? It's just extra damage at this point. Okay, phase two. I don't know. You, you, you've, you've got stuck. Are you stuck there completely? Okay, no, you're not. But now that there's two of them, this becomes a little easier for us. I really... I hate the, the vibrating thing where you can't jump. It's impossible to get past. Or it feels impossible to get past, at least. Like, I don't know how to avoid that. Oh shit, I'm actually on fire. I'm actually on fire. I am dead. Where, where, where did all the fire come from? That boss is just nuts. <sighs> what part of their attack set the oil on fire? Also, dying to fucking galoshes again, because galoshes are the most trash items in the game is annoying. I was hoping to get fire boots at some point in this run. Obviously, we didn't. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, but hey-ho, we died again. That that boss is a little bit absurd. Like, considering I've got all the upgrades in the game, I really shouldn't be having that hard of a time with it, really, but hey-ho, that's how the game is sometimes. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.